Gautam Adani recently became the third richest person in the entire world. So who is this guy? And more importantly, what does he spend all that money on? So let's introduce you to this Adani guy. He's the chairman and founder of what's known as the Adani Group. It's a huge Indian multinational conglomerate that does so many things, it would take three whole videos just to cover them all. All of this business has added up. He's worth $138 billion. That puts him in front of Jeff Bezos and his $126 billion, Bill Gates and his $111 billion, and he's behind Bernard Arnault's $138 billion and Elon Musk's $203 billion. Though, if things get much worse over at Twitter, there's a chance that Musk may be making room for a few of these guys to move up in the rotation. Unlike billionaires in other parts of the world, billionaires in India aren't as eager to give full access to their high-profile homes. That's because, as you'll see, security for billionaires in India is much more of a concern than it is for the rich and famous in other parts of the world. For instance, we do know that he owns an ultra-expensive bungalow in the super lush private neighborhood known as Luchens outside of New Delhi. We barely have a glimpse of this classic looking house, but it's clear that it's gotta be a massively expensive home. Even smaller homes in the neighborhood are quoted for around $15 million. This place is not playing around. He's also been in the news recently for his winning bid to purchase the Aditya Estates, or as it goes by now, the Adani House. It's a huge complex that rivals that of Antilia, the $2.6 billion home owned by Mukesh Ambani. I'm sure it was purchased specifically to make the Ambani family mad. Billionaires would gladly spend big money that's worth a small country just to anger other billionaires. It's just part of the lifestyle, you know? While we haven't been offered a full tour of the place for obvious reasons, we can make a few educated guesses. For instance, this home is the size of a frickin' office building, so it probably has to have a full staff to run the entire house and take care of the greenery. This likely adds to at least a few hundred thousand on top of the bill for this one. These homes always cost about as much as they're worth to buy after a few years of just living there. As far as what we do know, there appears to be an extensive private garden alongside a fully accessible rooftop. I'm sure there's a helicopter pad as well, because as you'll see, he's a huge fan of flying around while the rest of us have to walk. This massive property is worth 400 crore, that's not a huge amount of money, right? So what did he get a good deal? Not exactly. A crore is a note that is roughly 10 million rupees. So after you get through the exchange rate and the math, you see that this home is worth 48,977,620 dollars. Yeah, that's quite a bit more than I thought. I'm sure this home has plenty of sick amenities, including movie theaters, private saunas, walk-in closets, and a room made just for trampolines. I mean, surely one day a billionaire on this channel will have a trampoline room? It is the dream. Adani also has a pretty simple car collection, by billionaire standards at least. One that is definitely surprising considering the fact that he's one of the richest men on the planet. Simple, yet still super, super classy. For instance, he's got a fully stocked 
$339,000 Rolls-Royce Ghost that offers a great deal of luxury and an extremely smooth ride for the price. Then there's his $80,000 BMW 7 Series, which just speaks for itself. When you hear the brand BMW, you pretty much know what you're getting. These are both professional rides that clearly show that he's a shrewd businessman who is not too interested in the flashier side of life, but who isn't exactly riding without any style either. Of course, he does have one car in his collection that says the exact opposite. There's nothing professional or truly frugal about owning a Ferrari, especially not a Ferrari California. This $70,000 supercar has a top speed of 193 miles per hour, comes in hot rod red, and has a convertible top. This is one of those fun rides he probably picked up when he was feeling particularly fond of himself. I mean, who wouldn't if you had this kind of dough? Hey, not everyone's a car guy, no shame in that. Though that may be because he doesn't drive himself anymore. Billionaires like this almost always use a driver exclusively to take them through the traffic. There are reports that chauffeurs like this in India can make upwards of $400 a day. Though I would imagine that his cost much, much more. You remember that they are paid not only for their driving skill, but for their discretion as well. I'm sure many people would be eager to know the secrets his driver is paid to keep to himself, though they'd have to pay big. Chances are all of his cars are also outfitted with special security measures. It's a safe bet that all of them are at the very least bulletproof, which costs as much as $50,000 a car. Money well spent for someone in his position. Of course, when cars aren't good enough, he's got plenty of flight options he can use to soar above all the rest of us. If you're the third richest guy in the world, it's really expected for you to own a private jet. While well, Adani has not one, not two, but three different private jets. Those aren't even all that Adani has in his fleet. Even among billionaires, this is impressive. He has a Bombardier private jet which can go for as high as $75 million. Then there's his Beechcraft that can go for $800,000 and a Hawker which can go for over $3 million. All of these planes have plush leather furniture, top of the line accommodations, and a ride so smooth you probably don't even feel a bit of turbulence in a storm. So basically, these are the kinds of flights where the only worry you might have is whether or not you're going to get incepted for your business secrets while you're asleep. Basically, the fanciest possible. A Bombardier, a Beechcraft, and a Hawker apparently weren't enough for Adani. He's also gone full succession by purchasing himself three luxury helicopters that he can use the way the rest of us might use an Uber. These are the Augusta Westland AW139s. Helicopters of this caliber can go for around $4 million, so adding these to his fleet took him around $12 million. So yeah, even by billionaire standards, this guy has a pretty epic fleet. In a place like India, there are some concerns that other billionaires as rich as Adani don't really have to worry about. That would be kidnapping attempts for massive ransoms with terrible consequences if people don't pay. Adani came face to face with this horrific reality. The story goes that an underworld Don ordered the kidnapping of Adani in 1998. He was taken and held for ransom for an undisclosed amount of time. Officially, no ransom was paid, but Adani was released. This means either one of two things. Either he made some sort of deal for a payment that has been undisclosed, or he secretly related to Liam Neeson who went full taken to get him released. This problem has not gotten better since the late 90s either. Evidently in 2021, there were over 100,000 kidnapping cases reported in India. It's a growing criminal issue that's very hard to contend with. People like Adani, the Indian Prime Minister, and Mukesh Ambani all have a special security rating for high-profile targets. 
known as a Z Plus rating. The common security measures for Z Plus rated people feature 55 security personnel, 10 elite national security guards who watch them 24 7, and I'm guessing at least a few Liam Neesons unless things go wrong. What, you really think that guy could do that many movies if there were only one of him? We've been cloning Liam Neesons for years. So seeing how this guy is rising up the ranks of richest people in the world, chances are you'll be hearing more about him and his family in the years to come.